let's add some laser and video projection to a design. Lasers and video projectors can be found in the library under the fixtures category. I'm going to start with adding a quant laser to the left portion of the truss. So I will tick the laser projector filter in order to make it easier to find. Scroll down to quant and go for a club max 3000. I drag and drop it to the truss and we can instantly see a test pattern being projected out of the laser. If I now open the control pane with the laser selected, there's a few additional options available. There is a zoom control, as well as individual horizontal and vertical scaling. If we apply a negative scale, this can also create a mirror effect. Let's add a video projector as well. I'm going to untick the laser projector filter and tick the video projector filter and go for a Panasonic RQ 22K and drag and drop that to the right portion of the truss. Now we don't instantly see anything in this case and that's because we need to explicitly turn the projector on. Uh, this can be done either using the shortcut button for turning the fixture on or using the dimmer slider. Video projectors in capture can be patched to DMX which might provide control over dimming in a video projector. Video projectors also have options for individual horizontal and vertical image scaling as well as keystoning and if the optics allow it, horizontal and vertical lens shift. If you want to change the optics of the video projector or the lens of the projector, we go to the design tab, the selected items category, scroll down a little bit to the lighting fixture section and the optics property. Here you can see the various lenses available for the video projector. While we're here, let's also take a look at the display test card property. If we set this to no, the projector blacks out rather than showing the test card when no content is being sent to it. It works exactly the same way for the laser projector. So let's see how we can hook these two up with some proper content. Now, this could be achieved in one of two ways. One would be to have a media server or a laser controller running and connecting that with a network cable to my computer. Or we can also play back local files on the hard disk. So that's what I'm going to show you next. To do that, we need to create a media player Media players are capable of playing back both laser and video content. There are some options available, but I'm going to go with the default settings. Next, I want to load a movie file as well as a laser content file. Capture supports ILD files for laser content and various movie image formats for video content. Now we have a media player capable of playing back both the laser content and the video file, but we also need to connect it with the projectors. So I'm going to select the projectors both at the same time, go to the design tab, scroll down to the media property and select the media player I just created. Now at the moment, the media player is playing back the video file, so only the video projector is capable of showing the video. But if I play back the laser content instead, in a similar fashion, the laser projector will now show the laser pro content, whereas the video projector cannot. Thank you so much for watching.